All right then, gang. So currently on our website, anyone that visits can go ahead and register for an account. And then once they've registered for an account, they can log in and they can then see the pizza list and the order details page. So that kind of, again, defeats the point of this whole authentication system because we're still not really protecting those routes if anyone can register and then log in to see them. So ideally, what we'd like to do is allow the Pizza House staff to first of all sign up for some kind of account. They register. And then once they've done that, they can use that account to log in and view those pages. However, once they have done that, we could take away the registration process if we wanted to so that they could still log in, but then no one else could register. So no one else can then sign up and view those pages. So I'm going to show you how we can do that now, how we can disable registration. Now we have that initial account. So I'm going to head back over here. And if we go to this routes file, web.routes, we can see down here, we have this auth routes thing. And that was put in by Laravel when we used the UI package to scaffold all the auth stuff for us. Now, this generated a load of routes, including a route to register. So if I click on register, we can see it goes to forward slash register. If I go to login, it goes to forward slash login. So all of these routes are generated by this thing right here. And incidentally, if you want to see a list of all of the routes you can do, you can do that by going to your terminal. And I'm going to just clear this. I did this before just to see them all. And I'm going to zoom out so you can see this because it takes up a lot of space. And let me zoom this right up here you might have to make this full screen to see this but you say php artisan routes and then colon and then list and this lists all of the routes in your application so not just the ones generated for us for authentication but all of the ones including the ones we set up up here the pizza ones and we can see all the pizza ones right here but you can also see all of these authentication ones as well like login we have two for those one a get request and one a post request when we actually press the button to log in logouts we have these password ones right here we also have these down here register ones so again one a get request to actually get the register page and then another a post request to send off the data when we log in to the database verify etc and come back and log us in so if we want to disable registration, we want to disable these routes right here. And it's dead simple to do in Laravel. And that's what I like about Laravel. Many of the common things you need to do are really, really simple to achieve. So to disable registration, let me just zoom in again so we can all see. To disable registration, all we need to do is pass an array through into this thing right here as an argument. And then we can say register as the key. And we're going to set that equal to a boolean which is going to be false so this basically says look when you generate these routes now i don't want you to create the register routes so create everything else but not the register routes because we've already registered for an account that account is now stored in the users table so we can still log in with that but i don't want other people to register and that's what this does so if i save this now and come over here and refresh then we can see the register link has gone and it's gone because in the view, if we open up the resources and go to views and then go down to layouts and then open up app.blade.php, this is the layout with this header in the top. Now, if we scroll down, down here and it says, if the route has register, then show this thing right here, the register link. Now, our routes no longer has the register route. So this is going to evaluate to false and therefore we don't show this. So that's pretty nice. So that's the reason now we can't see the register button. And if we go to forward slash register, it's actually not going to work. It's going to 404 because it doesn't exist anymore. I can still log in. So if I go to login, I'm going to try using the original account I created. So Mario at pizza house dot ninja and make sure you spell that correctly. And then the password was test1234, login, and hopefully this still works, it does. Cool. So there we go, that's how you can disable the register routes 
from your authentication system. Now, remember, the reason we did this is because not everyone needs an account on our website. Uh, you know, people come into the website to order a pizza. They don't need an account. It's only the staff that need an account. So once they have that account, we can then disable registration for everybody else. That makes sense. But in your website, you might want everyone to have an account so they can comment on things, etc. So you might not need to do this. I just wanted to show you how to do it in case you do.